One of the things that happened in Seminole County this past week, and I thought, honestly, I, I thought, no way this is going to happen. But Brendy Carey, one of the commissioners, said, and also be on the lookout for snakes. And sure enough, it has happened, a big one. And uh, our, the guy in our uh, community, Bob Cross, who's the, the snake guy, he found a big one up in Seminole County. And Channel 9's Jeff Love Coolidge uh, is there. And are you in Heathrow or Heathrow Woods? And I know I saw a picture Bob posted on social media. It was a pretty mean-looking snake. Yeah, it's uh, pretty big too, and that's one of the things we've been talking about it, with this storm and with the recent rains we've had is the flooding uh, and the potential for more flooding and what can be affected by it. And what you'll, you're going to see here is in this bag. This is one of the things you're going to see. I'm going to move out of the way so I don't uh, get bit by it. But this is Bob Cross. He's uh, one of the trappers. He handles these snakes. Bob, what kind of snake is this again? Cottonmouth water moccasin. Wow, how, how big is this snake? He's four foot exactly and very dangerous. And explain exactly where you found this. This was in Heathrow Woods? It was in Heathrow Woods and during uh, storms, hurricanes and such uh, and flooding conditions, it drives all the snakes to higher ground. And the same with this snake. This snake probably was in the pond swampy area behind their house uh, and with all the flooding it moved up to the garage door. Uh, the lady of the house comes out, opens the garage door and she said she stepped within two feet of the snake which would, uh, could, could could give a lethal bite. Yeah, how dangerous are these snakes? I can see him striking there a little bit. Yeah, he's uh, he's fighting there. <laughs> I'm staying I'm staying a little bit of, uh, away from it because <laughs> I'm gonna leave it up to the expert here. Yeah, he's but a, he's a very dangerous snake. Uh, probably 10 years or more. They live uh, 15 to 20 years. Uh, this one being four foot long and as uh, heavy as he is and dark, they get darker the older they get. They start off very young and very colorful. And then as they get older, they turn dark and black. This is... And this isn't the biggest one you've caught around here. <laughs> uh, no, the largest one I ever caught was five foot seven. And I caught him in the same neighborhood we're in now. Well, thank you, Bob. Uh, don't <laughs> don't try and catch these things yourself. Leave it up to the experts like Bob Cross. I'm going to get out of the way because he's uh, getting a little uh, feisty there. But uh, again, you're going to want to watch for these uh, snakes. Just keep an eye around you because the water, like Bob said, is sort of driving them from their uh, where they usually are near the rivers. But that's uh, latest here from Seminole County. We'll send it back to you in the studio. If I was mean right now, I would say, look out, Jeff. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, ask Bob if you could, in terms of yeah. these sorts of creatures, this is Seminole Woods, that area, but is this going to be a widespread problem across Central Florida and other areas other than just uh, Seminole County where you are? Yeah, uh, Bob, Greg wants to know, is this a problem not just in Seminole, but all over Central Florida with these conditions? Yes, uh, all snakes everywhere uh, when there's flooding will move to higher ground. They just don't want to, they're kind of like alligators. They don't want to lay in the water. They like to be on the banks near the water yeah. and go in the water when they so desire. But uh, when the flooding comes along, it actually forces them to higher ground. And they're not aggressive, but they do strike, you said. It's just, uh, we don't have any gr aggressive snakes here in Florida. Correct. Uh, the cottonmouth water moccasin gets a lot of uh, bad press. People always say they're aggressive. Well, we have no aggressive snakes in the United States, period. Uh, they're more bold than anything, just like this. This snake here, yeah. uh, you walk near it, put anything near it, it's going to open its mouth, show its mouth. Uh, and if you're not in striking distance, then you're fine. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Bob. We appreciate it. And you stay there. That's, uh, yeah, you got to be watch out for these things because they could sneak up on you. Martha and Greg, we'll send it back to and, you. And Jeff, one more quick question because we know the kids are not in school right now. Can you ask Bob? I know he does this all the time, but the, the venom that the, yeah. these snakes have, I mean, compared to if an adult got bit, a child got bit, family pets that are going to need to get out during uh, the gusty weather, what could a snake like this do to someone if, in fact, they are bit? Yeah, Bob, uh, Martha wants to know about the venom, especially like a, a child or a pet. What could happen to, to somebody like that or an adult? Uh, it's a venom versus uh, body mass. Uh, the smaller the child, the bigger the snake, the more dangerous. It's uh, this snake, if it bought a, bit a small child, would be fighting for its life. Wow. An adult, you and I, we'd probably spend a week in the hospital, but we'd come out alive. Yeah. Yeah, nothing to mess with. Nothing to mess with at all, Martha. Believe me, I'm keeping my distance from it because he, he is not happy. He is not a happy camper. <laughs> Look at that. You go. Don't ask him to hold it. Yeah, <laughs> he looked that's mean. a good question you ask. Thank you. You know, with, um, with kids and right. trying to get some... And pets you know, need to get out. Right. Wow.
I know that's a before. problem up and down uh, that area. Uh, Bob's usually a lot in Magnolia Plantation, mm -hmm. which is on Markham Woods Road up in Seminole County, and he is in there every week. Uh, that's not with the rain or the water mm -hmm. coming up, uh, as, as you know, because you know Bob. So that area is... A lot of snakes in, in that area. Folks need to, to be on the lookout. Bob's a former firefighter. I thought that line of work was yeah. dangerous. This one, <laughs> this might have it beat. Let's take a look.